Praise God. Praise the Lord. I welcome you to this week's edition of our weekly empowerment videos. Today I'll be talking to you on the power of consistency. The power of consistency. Success nuggets number seven. We have been on a series of success nuggets, keys you need to succeed in life and in destiny. Um, the seventh key is consistency. Consistency means staying power. The capacity of a man to dwell and to stay on the matter, uh, to see true to the end of that matter. It is the ability to remain committed even when things appear not to be working. Consistency is a man's capacity to stay dedicated, committed, glued, addicted, stuck to a vision, to a goal, to a dream, to a commitment, regardless of um, ups and downs, regardless of um, bias, regardless of discouragement, regardless of whatever. Uh, you see, so consistency is staying on a matter, delivering your your value over and over, even when it looks like um, the expected outcome is not forthcoming. You see, I'd like you to know that God does not just test our involvement and our participation. Whenever God gives you a dream or he gives you a vision, um, in most cases, God will not just test your starting. God will test your finishing strong. God will test your commitment. You will need to um, convince heaven and convince hell that whatever God will be delivering into your hand at the end of the day, that you deserve it. And one of the ways to show that you deserve it is your consistency. God does not only test our involvement and our participation, He also tests our commitment and our consistency. Life is not just about starting, but about mastering the art of our involvement. People do not respect you because you started something well or you started something big. You see, giant strikes produce giant killers. But people do not just people do not respect you just because you take giant strikes. People respect you because you are consistent in delivering giant strikes. Uh, you are you are a giant killer. Okay, people respect you because you did not give up. People respect you because regardless of the ups and the downs, the tides, the waves that beat against you, you came through. Joseph had to go through different things. Joseph had a dream, a dream from above. And you see, one of the very good examples of consistency is, is Joseph. Joseph had to go through the pit. He had to go through slavery. He had to be tested by immorality. He had to go through the prison. He had to go through false accusation, family, family molestation, all forms of dejection. But he stayed committed to God's dream. That is what we mean by consistency. Like you said, um, it was the consistency of Daniel that delivered the answers to his prayers. I like the NLT version of Daniel chapter 10, verse 12 to 13. He says, Then he said, Don't be afraid, Daniel, since the day you began to pray for understanding and to humble yourself before God. Your request has been heard in heaven. I have come in answer to your prayers. But for 21 days, the prince, the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia, blocked my way. Then Michael, one of the archangels, came to help me. You see, when you give up, you are brought to expectations. Daniel had been praying for 21 days. Funny enough, his prayer had been answered on the first day. You see, I personally believe that God is not a prayer storing God. He's a prayer answering God. But he said, the delivery of your desires is not just because of your participation. You must be able to stay on the matter until your desires are delivered. You see, it was the consistency of Daniel. You know, many times when we pray and we don't receive answers, it's not because the answer has not been released. But you see, um, 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 commitment and consistency had to get God to ensure that the prayer was not just released from heaven, but it got to the desired destination. You see, when you give up on your dreams, you are brought to expectations. When you give up on your dreams, you prolong the storm. When you give up on your dreams, you delay your desires. Let me tell you about the sea eagle. There's a special of the eagle called the sea eagle. The sea eagle glides over the sea in search of prey. And when it sights a fish, because of the instability of the waters, it is not sure if the, ship is, if the, the, the fish is bigger than what it can carry. It is not sure. But you know this is a kill. So the sea eagle goes for the fish. Now, two things happen or can happen 
if the fish is bigger than the eagle, the fish will draw the eagle into the water. If the eagle is bigger than the fish, the eagle takes home the meal. But you see, if the fish is bigger than the eagle, then the fish drags the eagle into the water. But this is where I'm going with this story. At the end of the day, if the outcome is that the fish drags the eagle into the water, the eagle dies. And then when the body, the carcass of the eagle is found by the seashore, the eagle is still seen holding on to his prey. They die together. That is the power to be consistent and dedicated to your aims, your goals, your dreams, and your objectives. That is staying power. I want to remind you, God does not only test our involvement and our starting. He tests our consistency and our commitment. Consistency is a necessity if you are going to deliver God's dreams and aspirations for your life. Don't forget, when you give up, give up, you abort your expectations. When you give up, you prolong the storms against your life. When you give up, you delay your desires. Storms are not meant to drown you. Storms are meant to be overcome. I pray for you today that you will no longer be unstable. I pray for you today that capacity to be consistent, to drive home your expectations, to stay committed to your dreams in the face of battles and oppositions. Men give way for those that know where they are headed to. Today, the spirit and the power of consistency is released upon you. God bless you. I'll come your way next week. Stay consistent. You are blessed in Jesus' name.